Hello everyone, welcome to another GeForce Now tutorial video. Now in this tutorial video, I will show you how to fix error code 0x0001F5. Now this is an error code that happens on GeForce Now, usually happens, it's a very minor issue. So let's get right into it on how you can fix it. So as you can see right here on this forum, uh, a person fixed this uh, with this particular solution. So as you can see, that usually happens when you're playing around with Steam launch parameters. Even if you do it once, it can lock it for all Steam games. You have to talk to a live chat to get them to reset it and you just don't have to use launch parameters ever again. Uh, GeForce Now doesn't support them anyways. As you can see, I went through all my launch options in the Steam properties menu, didn't saw anything there, can you explain if I'm doing something wrong? You don't need uh, to use them all on uh, GeForce Now, they should be blank, no launch parameters at all. They aren't supported at all. So if you're using Steam, make sure your launch parameters are off or you don't have any launch parameters. Next thing, as you can see, uh, this is again the error code, this was th three years ago, it's still relevant today. Um, as you can see, they had an issue or this person had the same issue of getting the same error. And as you can see, update, uh, I ran all supported games in my GeForce Now Steam library without any issue. Outriders will not load above error. Outriders does not load when not using GeForce Now. Uh, or Outriders does load when not using GeForce Now. Now, as you can see here, when launching the game from the app, make sure you have Steam selected. If purchased from that service, somehow Epic Games was selected and apparently was uh, trying to connect to my account on that service. It would be great if the error code was a little more descriptive to solve such a minor issue. Now, as you can see, obviously he tried logging out of the account, disabling antivirus and even reinstalling the app all with the same error. So again, this is probably the best way to fix this error code. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you find it useful. And if you did, leave a like down below and we'll see you in the next video.